Did you make more money from Elf than any movie you've ever done? Overall, including all the residuals and everything else like that. Because Elf, every Christmas, every streaming services, service picks up Elf. I'm trying to see how to answer that. Um, Elf was really good. But uh, maybe couples of dreams. Really? Huh. Does that include the lawsuit money or just? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, okay. I, th I thought it'd be Elf. Elf is Just because Elf is so timeless. It's timeless. And they, those residuals come around. Yeah. I remember uh, I saw a video recently, like over Christmas, like Will Ferrell was running around, I think, New York City wearing the elf outfit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> knocking off on store windows and hilarious. freaking people out. That's hilarious because uh, it's. I knew Elf was huge when it was on Broadway and we couldn't get tickets. <laughs> to your own movie, yeah. I was like, I know him. <laughs> I know him. I, it, I, I know him. Is Will Ferrell the funniest comedic actor you've worked with in a movie? No. No? No. I, I love Will Ferrell, by the way. I do too. I, I think he's brilliant. I, listen, he's got to be, he's funny as fuck, but not the funniest. Yeah, I mean, you've done Bernie Mac movies and stuff like that, so. Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker, yeah. And believe it or not, um, John and Vince, Huh. We were doing a scene um, in May, and I couldn't stop laughing. Because once J Vince has you on the road and you can't stop laughing, he's going in deeper. <laughs> once he knows you, he's going in deeper, right? And John is going to come right behind him. Huh. I mean, what the fuck? So, um, and then Chris Tucker, there's some scenes we couldn't even finish together because we kept laughing and Gary Gay was getting mad with us. I'm like, fuck, it's funny. I don't know. I mean, um, um, yeah. Chris Tucker was a bad motherfucker at one time. Um, what else did I say? That was it, just Chris Tucker. This is um, Will Ferrell. It's our first day of shooting. I'm in my trip. He comes in dressed as L. Okay. And he goes, do you think this is funny? <laughs> I was like, are you fucking with me? <laughs> he says, no, I don't, I don't know. It's, I don't know if, am I playing this right? Like, this shit is brilliant. He fucked with me on another level, but he was dead serious. Oh, so he knew it was funny, but he was trying to see what you would say and kind of messing with you in a way? I, I don't know. It was on another level shit, because we went in and did another scene, and we did it like this. Like, we've been working together for our, our you know, mm. It's a scene with, um, okay, guys, 10 o'clock, Santa, Santa! He loses his shit. I remember that scene. He loses his <laughs> shit. Santa! And I just looked at him like, is this motherfucker? There was a little black elf. I said, put the black elf on me. Oh, the, 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 the mission for Friday? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> he had his other dude, I said, no, put him right by me. Because when he does it, I go, I gave him the look like this motherfucker. Wait, people. <laughs> and that's, um, that's how that went. I mean, he, yes, he's, yeah, because he's, he's not one of those, um, all of them have different styles. Chris don't read shit. Mm. We just go. Yeah, I remember uh, Money Talks. I remember reading about how Chris Tucker got the director kicked off. Fired him. Fired him because- I was right there. 
because the director wanted to go by the script and Chris kept going off script and they were clashing to the point where Chris got rid of the director and got Brett Ratner. Brett Ratner, yeah. Because he had worked with Brett Ratner on Heavy D movies, yeah. Heavy D videos. Yeah. And Brett comes and says, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Put the camera right there. Are you sure? It looks good to me. Mm. He would literally ask, Faison, how's that frame look? Mm. Looks good to me. Ended up a great movie, so clearly did something right. Yeah, I mean, he was, um, so, and a lot of times that's what it is, man. It's, directing is basically your opinion. Yeah, that's it. You know, you know, everybody else is doing everything else. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, whatever. Um, action, that sucked. He would never say it sucked. He would just be like, oh, so like, oh, we did one take, 85 takes one way because we kept laughing. How money talks. Yes. 85 takes one way. Huh. Meaning cameras here, set up here. We can't go through. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. We get it right one time, Brett fucks up the tape by that. Through the jail scene. Yes. Yes. Which was made up that day. Oh. Well, Harry Spears, who's been in movies mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Here and there. Mm -hmm. He was also on Mad TV. I do like his new attitude on your show. Yeah, yeah. I think I, he has a good perspective. Yeah, I like Gary. Yeah. He's one of my one of my main go-to guys now. Yeah, you know. And he talked about rapper actors who have no range, meaning they play the same character every movie. He named Fifty Cent, Ice Cube, Common, and DMX. Agree or disagree? You mean Common's not a brilliant actor? That's what he's saying. He's just Common, are you saying? He's just Common. DMX plays a great DMX in every movie. Well, most actors, the stars, are doing that. I mean, you know. Will Smith has range. Will Smith has worked, yes, and work, has worked for it. Has worked deli deliberately. Yes. Work for it. Yeah. I want this instead. I don't want that. I am legend. Uh, the CTE. I am legend is Castaway in a city. The CTE movie, you know, playing, uh, you know, robot Serena, Serena's dad, Serena oh. Venus's dad that he won the Oscar for. The one he should have won the Oscar for was the one with the kid, with his kid. Oh, the science fiction movie. No. Um. What was the name of the movie? Pursuit Happiness. Pursuit Happiness. Yeah. I'm just saying he has, you could say that Will that Smith movie? definitely has a lot of, he has range. He plays very different characters where you forget it's Will Smith. Yes. And you can see, if you're married to the woman he's married to, you're going to have range. <laughs> you need multiple personalities to get through. You don't know who you're coming on to. <laughs> He was forced into to being a, a phenomenal actor. <laughs> I'm a slapper motherfucker. <laughs> That's what you're that. nothing compared to Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine going to sleep. You'll never be a Tupac. I'm oh. sleeping with my son's friend. <laughs> By the way, I'm sucking your son's friend dick. We're all going on vacation together. And he's not an even in an Illuminati. <laughs> It's like, you have to be, you know, tormented. Yeah. You know well, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. There you go. There you go. I was like, <laughs> I remember seeing it. Will, his hair, it's all gray. His father was all gray. Like, uh, his father was real cool, too. Real, I mean, he was, he was just, you know, he was just a cool guy. And um, I remember seeing Will, it's all, it's all this shit is gray. I'm like, what the fuck are you eating? You got muscles and shit? What? Are the weights stressing you out? <laughs> <laughs> it was that little boy, Jada. <laughs> I see what you just did. Okay. <laughs>